You're still watching Ways. Now, today is World Body Piercing Day. Throughout the world, body, um, body modification has been used for many purposes, from self-expression to rite of, of passage, shock value, even religious observance. There has been a growing movement in the Western world, driving body modification to the forefront of popular forms of expression and self-declaration. The history of body piercing isn't clear, as there are a lot of of misleading information out there, but there's a significant indicator that it has been practiced by both men and women since prehistory. Body Piercing Day is an opportunity for you to find a new way to express yourself with this age-old practice. <laughs> so Sandra Eze, do you have some body piercings in some, you know, some unmentionable places? I, I, I don't, like, I don't like pain. I don't see a reason I would want to inflict, inflict pain <laughs> on myself. I think, quite frankly, that if this ear, and I just have one single ear opened, like I can't even do the one here and all that. If this wasn't opened by my parents and I was like, um, really, a baby, a baby <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done it. I don't like pain. So why would I want to like inflict pain on myself because of modification or anything? Mm. I mean, listen, I'm not about that life. So for me, it's actually quite interesting. The, the piercing is... Um, so I tried, I attempted to, to, to take an extra ear piercing when yeah. I was in the university. And by the time I, I pierced the ear, my ears are forming an abscess, what do you call it, keloid. Uh -huh. I say, yeah, I want to use my hand to go and buy market. So I think, <laughs> you know, because my skin is prone to keloid, no. so I try to avoid anything cuts, you know, and all of that. It leaves right. a scar. You know, so when I noticed that it was forming that abscess, so Just I started using... It. I, I was praying to God that I will never repeat it again. If it, I mean, if I, I don't ever, ever get healed It doesn't it. change the fact that it does look good. Like, I have admired it on some people. I know T-Boss no. wears the nose rings, no. and it's just beautiful. I'm not a fan her. of that nose ring. And it makes you look earrings, tacky. It, 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 well, I think it's about um, carriage. Like, you could wear something, and I'll wear the same thing. So but no matter, because of your no aura, matter the carriage, you can get away with it. So no matter the carriage, you see nose piercing, tongue piercing, belly button piercing. No, tongue is a no, no. Yeah. Oh, please, no. I think Nancy for the people Simen that can do it, all, good luck to you. Please keep expressing yourself. <laughs> but I'm not expressing I'm my. Not I'm good with my one, month. one one man squad. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandra, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, we're moving over to uh, Niger State. Niger, I mean, uh, there are some states in Nigeria that you almost don't. Um, and I'm not. I'm not saying. Please don't be offended if you're from the state. But yeah, most times in affairs of the country, mm. Niger doesn't come up a lot in in in. On the map, which is part of why I decided to take the story. Now, um, there has been a delay in payment of June's salary, and the reason, according to the Chairman of Salary Management Committee and also Commissioner of Works for uh, Niger State Engineer Ibrahim Panti, said that the state has discovered monthly payment of over 672 million naira hmm. monthly salary to ghost workers. And so basically what they're doing, they're currently uh, running screening because the salaries outweigh the, the federal allocation for You're the state. And yeah, like 30% were invited for the screening. And from that 30%, very few, um, a lot of people didn't turn up. The ones who turned up, some of them had fake certificates or they were already retired. Hmm. And they also discovered that some people had the same BVN. I think in this case, BVN was really helpful, helpful. in figuring, fishing them yeah. out. Because some of them had like three different accounts you know, and they were able to trace them with one one BVN. And my 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 view on this is, I think it is just wrong. And most of this um, this um, ghost workers were in ministries, agencies, and um, and departments, according to what I read in in the news. And it's just, why would you want to do that? I think if we're going to change the country, it's not some of these people would be the ones who will sit down and say government is not working, government is not doing anything, and yet you know, if we don't get to that place where we realize that even the tiniest thing you do matters, is a ripple effect. If we don't come to that place where we realize, oh, if I'm applying for, I don't care how broke you are, I don't care whether you've not eaten or you've not, just don't do it, do the right thing, not because anybody's watching you, but because it is just the human right thing to do. Mm, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So my, my story is quite interesting, is, um, um the husband sorry the wife of the former governor mm -hmm. of um 
or your state, the late governor for your state, Ajimobi. Yeah, she's firing. Mark, uh, she's. I mean, she's fires back at um, the current governor, Makinde, saying that you know. Um, I think there, there's been some social media um, claims Fight? that he okay. reached out to her and all of that, and she said no. You never called me. You, I mean, even if you called me, I don't have your number. And even if you call and I don't pick, is it not the right thing for you to do? I mean, the right thing for you to have done was to send a message. I mean, right. this man served all your state for eight years. Mm -hmm. you know, the so former governor. Yeah, the former governor, I mean, he served all your state for eight years. And she was saying that she needed to clear the air because her husband was a man of peace. You know, it, I mean, this is his, she's from a political family and it would be nice to put it out there to say that these things never happened because it seemed like nothing happened. There was no, um, no, no um, show of love or respect, you know, from the current governor. Which was know? just wrong. That, yeah, so now my take is that I understand you have your political difference. Mm -hmm. Right as as um, what's it called as leadership and all of that. I mean, parties. One is in PDP, one is in APC. I yeah, understand that political, but irrespective, when is there you. is a situation where there is loss of life, you know, it is only human for you to set aside your differences, differences you yes. know, and you know. So um, at least the um, governor Ganju J quickly weighed in on the conversation and led the prayers and all of that she because this video she was actually talking directly at the, de the deputy governor you know mm -hmm. that came to pay condolence visits you know and all of that yeah. and she was saying that you never called me so why are you going all, all over the news because she read in the papers that they called her blah 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 she said nothing like that happened that i mean <clears throat> she didn't reach out to fire me she didn't reach out to the Lagos state governor she didn't reach out to the Kano state government all of them knew because the the illness of her husband was not it was it out in the hidden. public. It wasn't yeah. hidden. So, and some blogs yeah. even called him as dead yes. before, before he, he actually, actually passed. Yeah. So it's, it wasn't a hidden thing. So why are you not making it look like, you know, you did all of these things? So I just think people should just, you know, this... And, and, and there's something she said about everybody's time will come. And that's the truth. Yeah. I keep saying to, to our leaders that if this COVID-19 doesn't change your perspective to life... I don't know what else will because you know that we are here today nobody knows absolutely, what tomorrow holds absolutely. so let us all be you know loving peaceful and all of that so our heart goes out to the um the Jumobi family and absolutely. hopefully by god's grace god will comfort them you know all right so we will take a quick break uti ak and nasa will join us right after the break to discuss patriarchy and the effect on our society please stay with us we'll be right back